Hi everyone! In this video we'll be learning about dots and ties, as well as playing some 16th note patterns. If you need a refresher, or need to learn the basics, you can see our last video on understanding rhythm. Alright, let's get started. Ties. Ties simply connect two pitches to lengthen the duration of the pitch. They are connected by a curved line connecting two notes of the same pitch. They are often used to lengthen a pitch past the bar line, as seen here. In this example, we have a half note tied to a quarter note, making that pitch three beats long. Let's try a few. Here we have a half note tied to another half note. Since each half note is two beats, we have a total of four beats. Here we have a whole note and a quarter note. Since the whole note is four beats and a quarter note is one beat, the note's duration is a total of five beats. Ties can also be used inside a measure as seen here. Here we have a half note to an eighth note. The half note is two beats and the eighth note is half a beat, which equals two and a half beats. Let's try playing a few. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This last one could be written as a dotted rhythm. But before we get into dots, please give this video a like if you find it helpful, and subscribe if you would like more of these videos in the future. Dots take a note value and add half to its original value. Example, a dotted whole note. A whole note is worth four beats. Half of four is two. When you add those together, it's six beats. A half note is worth two beats. Half of two is one. When added together, it's three beats. A quarter note is worth one beat. Half of one is a half. When we add that together, we get one and a half. Another way to look at dots is a note that adds the value of the next smaller duration, like a tie. A whole note is four beats, and the next smaller note duration is a half note, which is two. When tied, they are the same duration as a dotted whole. A half note is two beats, and the next smaller note duration is a quarter. When tied, they are the same duration as a dotted half. So a dotted quarter would be equal to a quarter and an eighth note tied. A dotted eighth would be equal to an eighth note and a sixteenth tied. And a dotted sixteenth would be equal to a sixteenth and a thirty-second note tied. It's helpful when first learning new rhythms to count the smallest duration out loud as performing the rhythm. So if the smallest duration is a quarter note or larger, count the beats. One, two, So if the smallest duration is an eighth note, count eighths. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. If the smallest duration is a sixteenth, count sixteenths. One e and the two e and the three e and the four e and the. Let's try. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and 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 now that we have a better understanding of ties and dotted rhythms let's try some 16th note combinations First, we will start with only sixteenths, which we count as one e and a. Here we have 
an eighth, and two sixteenths. One, E, and, the. Here we have two sixteenths and an eighth. One, E, and, the. Here we have one sixteenth and an eighth and a sixteenth. One, E, and, the. Now let's add some dotted durations to our sixteenth note combinations. Here we have a dotted eighth and a sixteenth. One, E, and, the. We can also try a sixteenth and a dotted eighth. One, E, and, the. Now that we understand them, let's try playing each pattern. One, E, and, the. Two, E, and, the. Three, E, and, the. Four, E, and, the. One, E, and, the. Two, E, and, the. Three, E, and, the. Four, E, and, the. One, E, and, the. Two, E, and, the. Three, E, and, the. Four, E, and, the. One, E, and, the. Two, E, and, the. Three, E, and, the. Four, E, and, the. One, E, and, the. Two, E, and, the. Three, E, and, the. Four, E, and, the. One, E, and, the. Two, E, and, the. Three, E, and, the. Four, E, and, the. Now let's try mixing these combinations. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the. Let's now try adding ties and dots with our sixteenth note patterns. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and as always, happy practicing.